So today's video is going to be a glit fit, which are my health and fitness videos. And don't mind the fact that I still sound and look a little bit sick. It's amazing to me how long my body can hold on to a sickness when I don't even get sick that often. But when I do, it's like, oh, it's like never going away. My body is still, it's been like weeks and I still feel sick, which is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so speaking the opposite of sickness, we're going to talk about health and fitness today. Um, I haven't done a glit fit in a really long time and I know you guys love these videos. I've done a few in the last few years and I did my first like big one three years ago. But you know what, the fall season always gets me in the mood to be extra healthy and motivated and there's just something about this season that makes me like on the top of my A-game with fitness and working out and cardio and healthy eating choices. So. Yeah, I just wanted to do a video. When I first moved to LA, I didn't have access to a good gym. My apartment complex had a gym, but it was really small and very crowded, and there was never any machines available. It was just a really frustrating gym. I found a little workout place that was down the street, and I did a lot of workout classes, and I actually have a glit fit called Going to Workout Class, which I will link below if you want to watch that too, if you're in the mood to watch lots of glit fits. But that was when I was taking a lot of classes, and they were dance cardio, and I loved them. And then when I moved into my new place, which is the place I'm living in right now, I was a little bit too far away from my dance workout classes to go several times a week conveniently. So I just stopped going and I stopped working out altogether. So I moved into this place in May. It's been about four months. Well, it was about three because I started working out again about a month ago that I just wasn't doing anything. No cardio, no working out. I was kind of eating healthy and kind of not because I was traveling a lot during the summer and I had several vacations with different people back to back and I just kind of wasn't taking care of my body the way I like to and the way you should be. My new building has a really good gym that is not like my old building. I thought for today's video I would show you guys what I like to wear for my workouts what I've been doing and my favorite foods of the moment because I know you guys like glit fit uh, food suggestions like snacks and stuff like that that are reasonably healthy. So I'm going to start with the things that I like to wear during my workout and what I've been doing for my workouts. When I first started doing cardio again, I started doing the elliptical machine because that's the easiest thing for me. It's the simplest to get me kind of back into doing cardio because that's like what I used to do all the time in college and I just am used to it. I'm very comfortable with doing it for long periods of time. So I decided to start with the elliptical machine and then I introduced the treadmill into my cardio routine. So now I do both most of the time when I go to the gym. I'll do the elliptical first for like 20 minutes and then I'll do the treadmill for 30 minutes and then I'll go back to the elliptical machine if there's a machine available, which there normally is, for about 15 minutes to finish up my routine. And on the treadmill, I either speed walk on an incline or I jog. It kind of depends. Normally, I do a little bit of both within the time that I'm on the treadmill. I've been wearing these Skechers Tone Ups, and my friend Katrina actually gave me these. She has a channel here on YouTube that is amazing. So if you guys like fitness or nutrition type videos, you have to check out her channel. It is one of my favorite channels on YouTube, and I'm just, I get so motivated every time I watch one of their videos. So I'll link it below, but their website site is toneitup.com and their YouTube name is toneitup.com, youtube.com slash toneitup.com, which is kind of confusing. So I will link it below, but it's Katrina and Karina. I was using a very old pair of red Nike shocks. Is that what they're called? Uh, before I started wearing these and I had had that pair since high school. I know that's crazy. You shouldn't wear your tennis shoes that long, but I did. When I started wearing these after wearing those for so long, these are so much better. So I'm obsessed. And then my favorite sports bra. Now sports bras are a little bit important for me because I'm very heavy chested and most sports bras don't give me any sort of support at all. So when I found this one, I was quite excited. It doesn't give complete support. I mean, you're still gonna like wobble a bit if you're larger chested, if you're running, but I don't really know if that can be helped. So it is the Victoria's Secret VSX sports bra looks like this it's slightly padded and it has underwiring so it's really good if you're kind of heavier chested and one thing that I love is that it has a back kind of like a bra 
so it actually has like the snaps in the back. I feel like it's a hybrid between a regular bra and a sports bra because it's very structured the way a regular bra would be, which I like because I need the extra support. So I've really been enjoying this bra. I love working out in leggings and my favorite leggings to work out in are by Spanx and these are from the new Star Power line. This is what the packaging looks like and the Star Power line is a new line that's all about um, looking very fashionable as well as shaping yourself. So Spanx is all about, you know, shapewear and making your body look fantastic under clothes, but the Star Power line is a little bit younger and it's more fashion forward. It was inspired by celebrities who wear their products on the red carpet. And Blair has been a huge Spanx shapewear fan forever. She, there's not one red carpet picture where she's not wearing some sort of their shapewear underneath her dress. She just swears by it. She says it is like the key to having your body look good. And since this video is all about being healthy and looking good on, you know, feeling good on the inside, it's also about looking good on the outside. So these are absolutely my favorite pair of workout pants because they shape you in addition to like, you know, being comfortable to work out. And I don't like working out in shorts and I don't like working out in like baggy or sweatpants. I like leggings, but sometimes leggings can look like leggings and not like pants and sometimes you really shouldn't be working out in leggings if there are other people in the room with you but these ones are very substantial they're thick they just feel like you're wearing pants they don't feel like you're wearing just this tiny layer of fabric they're not tights you know so plus they suck you in they look fabulous and they're good not just for working out but also like as your leggings so if you're someone who likes wearing leggings with baggy sweaters which I really do these are the ones to go for over the less expensive ones because you almost get what you pay for with leggings yeah I'm obsessed with these to work out in and the star power line actually has a bunch of cool shapewear too and they sent me some of their shapewear for me to review and I thought this was a perfect video to review it in because they can completely change the way you look in clothes. And it's a very easy thing to do. It's very easy to wear it underneath your clothes. It doesn't show and it just makes you feel so much better. So when you're working out, when you're being healthy and when you're eating well, it's nice to have that confidence of knowing you look better in your clothes. And sometimes that takes a little while. It's not instant when you start being really healthy. You're not instantly going to look two sizes smaller in your dress. You're not going to immediately notice the difference. It's more of a long-term thing. So this is something that can kind of make you feel really, really good instantly. It just kind of depends on where your problem areas are and what you want to do. Yeah, Pango, do you got problem areas? My favorite one is called the Open Bust Mid Thigh, and this is in their Lady Lux collection. And the reason that I like this one in particular is because it has an open bust, as the name suggests, so you can wear your own bra with it. And I like this because it has straps and it has a very high back. So it kind of just depends on what you want to target on yourself, what your problem areas are. But this one kind of hits a little bit of everything. It targets your stomach, your inner thighs, your upper inner thighs, and it has this sparkly mesh panel on the stomach, which you can't see like through your clothes or anything, but it looks really pretty on the body. It's very flattening for your stomach and very flattering. And it's kind of one of those confidence boosting things. You're not gonna see it in your clothes, um, I haven't had any issues with any of this showing through my clothes, but it just looks really good and you feel really good and it just sucks everything in really well. So this comes in both black and nude and I only have the nude, but I want to get the black of this one in particular because this is my favorite one. There's also one called the high girl short, which hits a little bit high. It gets your stomach. It also gets your inner thighs. If you don't want to have straps or if you're wearing a strapless dress and you can't have something with straps, so you can't wear the first one I showed, then this one's a good one. And then this one's called the high tunic, and this one really cinches in your middle and it firms your back. So it gives you all the middle support, but it doesn't have any legs. And depending on what you're wearing, you might not want the thigh pieces that you have on these other um, two pieces of shapewear. You might not want anything on your legs. It cuts out kind of like a leotard would. And I also have these leather and suede leggings. These are so cool. So they have like the power band around the top that really firms everything. But then it has this like slight color block illusion that lengthens your legs. 
Um, it's not that noticeable because they're both black, but because you have the two different textures, it just really slims everything and lengthens everything and just looks amazing on. So these are a little bit dressier. I wouldn't work out in these, obviously, but with the right sweater and the right shoes, these would be so cute. Like an assortment of leggings. And you can get the entire Star Power collection on Spanx.com, and they were nice enough to give me five $100 Spanx gift cards to give away to you guys. So all you have to do to be eligible is be a subscriber to this channel and leave me a comment below telling me your favorite number one fitness or health related thing of the moment, whether it be a favorite song, favorite sports bra, favorite shoe, favorite food, anything you want, just leave me a comment below telling me your number one favorite thing of the moment and you will be entered to win one of five $100 Spanx.com gift cards. So thank you Spanx for giving gift cards to my viewers. Moving on to food favorites. So these are gonna be my favorite foods that I've been eating. Some of them are healthy, some of them not so much, but I thought I'd show you anyway. First of all, I have to show you this. I have discovered the absolute best store-bought guacamole I've ever tried. I'm so addicted to this. It's from Trader Joe's and it's called Avocado's Number Guacamole. And I think it's called that because it has five plus avocados in every package. So it is very avocado heavy. And I've tried a lot of store-bought guacamoles because I'm in love with guacamole and I'm always craving it. And I've tried to make it myself and it's just not as good. I just can't get the consistency right. This stuff's amazing. It comes with two packages that look like this in each box. So two like stacked on top of each other. And this one's not open, but this one is. So one thing that I love about this guacamole is that it doesn't brown very quickly and that is key with a store-bought guacamole because a lot of times as soon as you open them, like the next sitting, you sit down and it's all brown. It's really gross. So this one, as long as you put it like it's open in there, I've eaten some of it. I'm getting a text message, but I put it inside of the sealed, this is from um, Ikea, I think I got like a big pack of them, um, in this container and I put it in the fridge and it doesn't get brown. And these have big chunks of avocado, which I love. I'm a big avocado person. I think that a lot of store-bought guacamoles are like blended. And so they're not, they don't feel restaurant quality, if that makes any sense. So I'm pretty sure this is pretty good for you. Um, I just eat it because I'm obsessed with guacamole. But it says five avocados, jalapeno puree, uh, white vinegar, salt, dehydrated onion and garlic, that's all that's in it. So yeah, pretty clean, pretty healthy, absolutely delicious. If you have a Trader Joe's near you and you are a guacamole person, you have to try this. It's so good and it's very hard not to eat the entire package in a sitting. Um, I ate about a fourth of this package last night. So yeah, it's so good, so, so good. On nights where I don't wanna cook but I wanna eat something portion controlled and small and quick and I can heat it up in the microwave really quickly. I like the salmon and orzo pasta from Trader Joe's. Wild salmon in yogurt and mint sauce with orzo pasta, spinach, and zucchini. I know that these frozen dinners are like loaded with um, sodium and like preservatives and people are so against frozen dinners. And you know what, like I get it. I try to stay away from frozen dinners, but sometimes you need it. It's between eating something like this or ordering in Chinese food or ordering in pizza. If you're not gonna cook something and you don't have much in the house, this is something you can have in your freezer and it's better than the alternatives like I just said. Another thing that I've been loving are the honey bunches of oats with strawberries, with the freeze dried strawberries. I also really like Special K with strawberries. Actually, someone on Twitter gave me this idea because I was complaining about how um, Cheerios doesn't make a Cheerios with freeze dried strawberries because I think I would be obsessed and they were like just go to Trader Joe's and buy dried strawberries so I did this is a bag of freeze dried strawberries unsweetened and unsulfured whatever that means plan on adding it to other cereals or maybe even add a little bit more to this cereal uh, because I like lots of strawberries and then I also put fresh strawberries in it which I have in my fridge I didn't grab those because I didn't think it was you guys know what strawberries look like. Another thing that I eat constantly are the Fage with peach. They're little Greek yogurt. I eat it with granola. This is the bare naked fruit and nut granola. This is my favorite one to eat with it. I just pour a little bit in a bowl and I eat this together and it is pretty much my breakfast every day. I tend to eat cereal for dessert, so this is more of a dessert thing for me and then this is more of my breakfast. I'm in love with it and it keeps me full because it has a lot of protein because it's Greek yogurt and 
I just really like it. Over here hiding are my Acmoc, I'm probably saying that way wrong, um, organically grown whole wheat flour low fat crackers. They are basically crackers with sesame seeds on the top. They look like that. And I eat this with my tuna. I tend to eat tuna a lot. I really like tuna. I ate these with my guacamole last night because I didn't have any Tostitos or chips. I try not to keep them in the house because if they're in the house, I'll eat them. So I ate a fourth of a container of guacamole with these whole wheat crackers last night and they were delicious. Another snack that I love are pistachios. I prefer to get them out of the shell. Dry roasted and unsalted pistachio nut meats. They're nut meats. I love these. A handful of this with some other things that I'm eating is delicious. I've mentioned this on Twitter a couple times and it was in my bedtime routine video but I don't talk about it, I just show it. These are the dark cherry, dark chocolate cherry cashew kind bars. When I'm making my tea at night, I typically have one of these before bed. I know that people say you shouldn't snack before bed and if that works for you, that's great but I have insomnia, I have sleeping issues and one of the things that makes me completely unable to sleep is going to bed hungry. So I tend to eat my dinner a little bit earlier in the evening and then I stay up late so I need something else and this is the perfect thing because it feels like a dessert. It has a lot of chocolate and a lot of dried cherries. I've never tried these but I saw them at Trader Joe's and I decided you know what I'm just going to try them. They are pumpkin macaroons. Look how cute. For the fall so so cute and you don't have to do anything to them. They have to be frozen but you just um thaw them and then eat them. You don't have to cook them or anything. They're gluten free. They look relatively healthy. Very October-esque to have a pumpkin macaroon. Frozen mango chunks are another thing that I really like snacking on. Um, they're kind of like eating a popsicle but they're just like a frozen piece of fruit. Last thing and this is not necessarily healthy. I just wanted to show you because it's really good and it's a good alternative to Chinese if you're craving Chinese. If you guys follow me on Twitter you'll know that I had an orange chicken craving that lasted a really ridiculously long period of time and I wanted to order Chinese food like every single night. It was the strangest thing. But the Trader Joe's Mandarin Orange Chicken is absolutely delicious. Blair used to make these all the time when we lived together in our old apartment. It's super, super simple to make and then you can whip up some rice on the side and have like a homemade Chinese food meal that's a whole lot healthier than what you would get if you went to a restaurant. It has 320 calories for a cup. So that's a pretty good amount of this and it is so good. It's restaurant quality, absolutely delicious orange chicken. So I kinda wanna make this now. I'm getting so hungry from doing this video. So those were all of my fashion and food favorites for right now. I would love suggestions on some foods and snacks below, especially from Trader Joe's because that happens to be the closest grocery store to me. That's why a lot of my shopping is from there. So if you guys have any like favorite snacks or foods that I haven't mentioned that you've never seen me talk about, I would love suggestions on your favorites. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.